guys what is up and welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs miracle glow oil as well as our soaps and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites in today's video we will be putting the battle well Today is the battle of the dupes, but in today's video, we will be putting Glow Recipes Watermelon Sleeping Mask to the test with Bliss Reviving and Distressing Overnight Mask. So 1.7 ounces of Bliss's Sleeping Mask will run you $15, whereas in one ounce of Glow Recipe Sleeping Mask will run you $22 and 2.7 ounces of glow recipes watermelon sleeping mask will run you 45 dollars with that being said doing research on both masks in my opinion i felt that the cleaner of the mask was a uh, glow recipe was cleaner uh bliss wasn't as clean it's like drugstore products you can find them in target and ulta so it's not clean, but it does have the major ingredients that Glow Recipes, Watermelon, Sleeping Mask. And the funny thing about this situation, you guys, and I just want to say this before. <laughs> Boy, why the makeup community can't be like the skincare community? Bliss is out here copying everybody and a mama. You know how I found this mask? I just Google Watermelon, Sleeping Mask, and the first thing that popped up is Bliss. Okay, Bliss and then Glow Recipe. All they do is copy, and I don't see no brands, no influencers coming for Bliss for copying. I mean, skincare community just let things roll off, and we are just kumbaya and accept each other. You see how we do in the skincare community? Bliss is out here copying to the T. <laughs> Literally, this is the second product I have done with them, and they've copied Peter Thomas Roth's uh, Cloud Cream. Now they out here copying Glow Recipe. I'm not mad at you, Bliss. Come through. Help people save. 10 to 20 dollars i'm just saying you don't see nobody complaining about it okay so the first product i'm gonna go ahead and swatch is glow recipe oh my god what type of swatch was that <laughs> oh my god that swatch was ugly okay here we go there we go so that's glow recipe now i am going to swatch bliss on the same hand okay so here is bliss so that's what you get that's glow recipe and this is bliss it gives you that like milky looking texture okay so let's smell both products so i'm gonna go ahead and smell glow recipe so glow recipe smells like watermelon it doesn't smell fruity it's like watermelon with a hint of alcohol but you can smell it a little bit and it's a watermelon scent uh yeah let's smell uh bliss's watermelon sleeping mask so this one is more of a watermelon candy um and it also has like mica if you guys can see it's like a mica texture to it like they did put like some sort of mica or like pearl powder in it it's not as jelly or thick to me but yeah it, it, it got a little candy watermelon scent to it i don't know so i'm smelling watermelon red hot candy so yeah so now that we've swatched it we've did scent we're going to go ahead wait for dark and i'm going to put it on my face okay you guys so both masks are on my face i just applied them uh i'm going to go ahead and let them dry and i'm going to show you which one dries the quickest so we can see in this comparison okay you guys say hi <laughs> hi <laughs> Okay, you guys, so both masks are dry. I do want to say that Bliss dried a little bit better than <laughs> Glow Recipe. If you can see Glow Recipe, yes. it's just a little bit flaky. And Bliss isn't as flaky as, as Glow Recipe. So, yeah, this is what they both look like. I will say Glow Recipe, I mean Bliss, they dry quicker. So, we're going to go ahead and go to bed. Say goodnight. Okay, you guys, uh, good night, and I'll see you tomorrow morning for the final results of both masks. Love you so much. Bye.
Hey you guys, so it's officially morning time and both sleeping masks have been on my face for about 12 hours because before I decided to get on camera and show you guys, I decided to eat breakfast, do other random things. <laughs> I know I should have just immediately got on camera so they've been on my face for a while but this is what Glow Recipe looks like. It is like practically off my face and um the bliss mask is officially on my face so i'm gonna go ahead rinse my face and then we can see what they both look like let's go okay so my face is officially rinsed and i'm going to go ahead and dry it okay so this is glow recipe and this is bliss um i like glow recipe because my pores do look smaller. What do you guys think? This is Glow Recipe. My pores do look smaller. And this is Bliss. My pores do look a lot bigger. But I will say the Bliss side is a bit more hydrating. Just a little bit more. Uh, I do feel that my skin is much softer on the Glow Recipe side, however, but Bliss is really hydrating. Uh, those are just minor details about both masks, but let's talk about it. Okay, you guys, so is Bliss Watermelon Hydrating Mask a dupe for Watermelon's Glow Recipe Watermelon Mask? Yes, it is. However, I mean, price-wise, looking at the situation, 1.7 ounces. I mean, you could get a smaller jar of Glow Recipe for $22 in defense of Glow Recipe. But Bliss, it is a dupe, but I feel it's really what you're looking for. With winter coming, I really think you will enjoy Bliss Watermelon Mask better than you will enjoy Glow Recipe. Glow Recipe to me is more of a summer sleepy mask, whereas in Bliss, it's more of a definitely uh, a winter mask, especially if you're in a very dry climate, an arid climate. A lot of you guys are going to have snow. I live here in the desert, it gets really dry. I'm not really a fan of Bliss because it's really hydrating. I think I will personally go ahead and buy Glow Recipe again because Glow Recipe's mask can also be used as a moisturizer. So it can be used as a moisturizer and you can actually use it as a mask. Well, I know I think it's like a 20 minute, 30 minute mask, whereas in uh, Bliss's is definitely an overnight mask. So with that being said, you know, I personally personally feel that my skin is much softer on the glow recipe side however you will get a little more hydrating on the bliss side but when you're feeling skin like literally comparing skin to skin to me glow recipe side of my face feels much softer however I will say that it is a dupe so you guys I'm going to stop rambling because the eyelash is really getting in my eye and I'm about to cry and I don't need to be having a meltdown on camera yet I'm not that big to be having meltdowns <laughs> that being said you guys I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs miracle glow oil as well as our soaps you know the holidays is coming buy a soap for your family Buy a soap for one of your friends. Say you got it from Shandera. <laughs> With that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in our next video. I love you so much. Bye, you guys. Mwah!